Hello and welcome to Rune Factory 5, where we are just uh, getting into a brand new day. Summer 22nd. And of course we'll be starting this day as we always do by looking after our fields and gathering resources and taking care of oh, our great. monster friends. Looking at the uh, weather symbol today, there next to the in-game clock. It appears that we are going to have our first uh, meteor shower tonight. So that'll be fun. Huh. I've uh, kind of heard oh, some right. things about it. That like after a meteor shower you can find some special stuff but um all oh, right i um i really don't know much at all so it'll be very yes. interesting tomorrow to uh to see the effects of the meteor shower Looks like our corn is grown, and so is our shield flower, and our sword flower. So we finally got those quests done, and also the uh, harvest three different kinds of flowers quest. Seems like you managed to harvest a sword flower. So, how was the sword itself? Did it feel easy to wield? Let me thank you with this. Be sure to put it to good use. All right. Thank you. You harvested a shield flower. At this rate, we'll solve every single one of the world's greatest mysteries in no time. Here. Let me thank you with this. Hopefully it'll come in handy during your next adventure. Yes! Alright. Look at that! You grew three kinds of flowers. I knew you could handle my request. Oh, before I forget, go check out the shops soon. They'll have new seeds for sale. Nice. Oh, take care of some griffins, huh? We can do that. Sure. Huh, no, uh, flavor text or anything. Okay. Nine charm blues. Level 5 vegetable. We could try this. This request ain't gonna be easy. I want you to ship a veggie that's at least level 5. Getting one up to level 3 should be simple enough. But after that, you'll need to use a good sickle and increase the quality level of your soil to get your hands on better seeds. Getting high level seeds will be way harder if you're just using a cheap hoe or harvesting your crops without a sickle. It won't be a walk in the park, but I know you can do it. Don't forget you need to ship it, not harvest it, in order to complete this request. 
get out there and grow something great. So here's the thing though, Murakumo. In order to ship it, I do need to harvest it. So, um, yeah. Cool. Soil health went up. Alright. Now we've got two rows of, um, of 2x2 two two squares in excellent health. Or good health, or, well, above 200 health. Don't know if that's good or excellent or what. Let's see. That particular turnip seed is only level 1. I think we needed to sell one of the level 3 fodder seeds. So let's do that. And we'll also sell the seeds that we just gathered. The potato and the level 2 corn seed. Uh, yep. This one. And the green pepper seed and order seed. Wow, this plant sword is terrible. So, are the stats like random? Because this one is level 3 and it's got horrible stats. The one that the uh, our monster friends harvested earlier was only level 1 and it had pretty good stats. Hmm. Weird. Well, we'll water these. Hope it comes out okay. And um, let's get rid of the stumps. Nice. All right. We can now go to Cloudheim, huh? In today's episode, after we've done everything else, we will get together a party and uh, then in the episode after this one, we'll go and explore Cloudheim. But in today's episode, as we do in all the morning episodes um we'll just look after our plants and fields and animals and gather resources do some shopping and Yo, some ah. socializing and and um then towards the end of the episode we will form a party with which we will go adventuring in in the next episode. So in the afternoon or evening episode. Hmm. Should we actually sow some corn over here too? Or do we just want to do the thing where next season we switch to oh, another farm dragon and let this one's soil heal naturally oh, right. by oh, right. not planting anything here because we could do that oh, right. nice nice 
Hmm. I think I do want to sow some corn here. And then in a week's right. time. So kind of yes. just after the season has changed. We'll come over here and till that corn into the soil. Yeah. Yes. All right. Nice. All right. Yes. All right. There we go. Go. Was right. that everything? Ah, oh, there are some branches. Huh. All right. Huh. All right. Huh. Yes. And one more. Look after these two. There, there. There, there. One more branch. Huh. Yes. And um, what do we need to give you guys? How much health have you lost doing your daily work? About nine hundred. Yeah, about 900. Cool. So, 800, 900, 1000. Thereabouts. Ah, oh, healing potion. That'll do. Poppy. Dandy. Oops. Um. Yes. Oh, I didn't mean to. I meant to give you the healing potion, but of course it's no longer in my hands because it's already in here. Let's re-equip and... There we go. Both Dandy and Poppy are now all healed. Nice. All right. And I guess that's it. All we need to do here. Right? Oh, except the corn. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Let's grow some corn. Huh. We only need to go th grow three. On this row actually because the uh, leftmost three two by two squares on this row there are go. already at over 200 health easy does it there you go huh. there oops him there now we're done here Actually, I kind of want to see about that new farm dragon. Did we really get a fifth? Yeah, Terra dragon. Well, let's go see where that is. Is it in Rakebath or... We did tell it to go to Rakebath. Uh, 
Dandy and Poppy? Oh, yeah, they, they did remain on the Earth Dragon. I was like, what? Excuse me? And the uh, patch where we can grow stuff here is smaller, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, much smaller. Strange. Hmm. I'll have to take a closer look at the other farm dragons as well. See if they differ from each other in such significant ways. Ah, it was griffins that we needed to take care of. Well, we can do that easily. One down. Oops. Yeah, we need to avoid those gusts of wind. They do knock us down and that's not nice. The quest is already complete, but um, let's go see if these guys drop anything. to the uh, silo and then we'll see about our quest reward for getting rid of those griffins Once again, no flavor text or anything, just the reward. Nice. Is that a recovery potion? Well, I mean, it wasn't really a difficult or time-consuming quest or anything, but... I kind of expected something more than just a recovery potion. Oh well. My bad for having too high expectations, I guess. Uh, nine charm blues. Do we now have these seeds in the shop? I guess we could take on the quest. Hey, how's everything going? This time, I'd like you to harvest nine charm blues. I know that sounds like a lot, but I think you'll have fun growing something so pretty. Anyway, good luck! Thanks! Let's put some stuff away. Hmm... Herbs... And I guess we could put this straight into here. Let's go see uh, what potions we can make and also 
we need to make that flan for a day off. Yeah, since she looks like she isn't going to join our party anytime soon and looks like we can't level up her friendship that way, we'll just have to make her a flan every day because apparently she likes flan a lot and uh, try to level up the friendship with her that way. And oh yeah, the potions. Ellie leaves. Mystery potion. Ooh, that's a really good healing potion. We can make six of them. Oh yeah, it just requires green grass and white grass. All right, so we probably shouldn't make those uh, like weaker versions of recovery potions anymore because I think those require green grass as well. I think we'll want to save our green grass or those um, mystery potions. Now this isn't going to be consumed by anybody, so we can probably use a mushroom in it. We won't have to worry about, you know, anybody getting poisoned or anything. Because uh, this is just Formula A that we're going to, going to sprinkle into the ground. So these recovery potions we will make. But the other ones, the ones that require... Hmm, maybe we won't use mushrooms with these. So the other recovery potions, the ones that require green grass. Let's not make any of those. On the other hand, we do have some green grass, but um, mm. yeah, maybe not. Okay, so. Let's see here. Mm, let's put this here. I hope it comes out okay. And then next time we make um when we make more, we'll put it kind of into the other Work oh, hard, hello, Scarlet. Stay on guard. Everyone seems eager to discuss how the sky looks today. Something so the matter? To tell the truth, something really strange happened not too long ago. Ah, but now's not the time for chit-chat, is it? I'm sorry, please just forget about it. If you're going to start a conversation, then don't end it halfway. I need details. Yeah, especially when you say something really strange happened. Oh, hey. Let's continue um, Lucas's heart event, shall we? So in we go. Yeah. Aha, Hazel, you've come at the perfect time. Hi, everyone. What's going on? 
He got me good. There's no denying that. It's no laughing matter, Randolph. He scammed you out of good money. Huh? What? Well, I can't deny that. I thought I'd bought a lovely gemstone as a present for my wife. But when I took it to Darok to set it in a ring... One tap of my hammer cracked it like an egg. Brought the thing to Heinz and he confirmed it was a fancy looking fake. I expect this is the work of that wheeling and dealing peddler you reported to me earlier, Hazel. He buttered me up quite skillfully too. Suggested it would make a fine gift for my beautiful wife of many long years. Goodness, I must be going blind in my old age. Don't blame yourself, Grandpa Randolph. Blame the guy who scammed you. <sighs> oh, I am. In my younger days, I would have chased that swindler to the four corners of the earth and... Rested what's mine from his miserable... Ah, pardon the ramblings of an old man. <laughs> Boy, Randolph says some scary things when you least expect it. Still, if only I could have stopped him when I had the chance. Don't blame yourself either. Right now, ensuring the safety of the townsfolk is our priority. I've increased my patrols, but the suspect remains at large. We're also monitoring every entrance and exit in town. Nobody's come or gone without me knowing about it. Huh. Which means it's likely that our perp is still hiding somewhere in town. I'll go look for him. He tricked Grandpa Randolph and he almost got Palmer too. I'm going to make sure he doesn't succeed a second time. Yes. Good. We do happen to be short-handed. Again, as always. This task is all yours, Hazel. Yes. Okay. I wonder if we're going to catch him this time. Hello, Captain Livia. I was on the graveyard shift the other night when a panicky civilian burst into the silo. Honestly. Apparently, a drunkard collapsed and they couldn't convince them to stand up. Sheesh, that's what qualifies as an emergency in a town like this. But you did help them out, right? <laughs> yep. I showed the sober guy how to carry the drunk guy and sent them both on their way. Nothing a good night's sleep and a glass of water can't fix. Yeah, glad it wasn't anything serious. Mm. Would you like a potion? Yay! And Radea was at the Crystalabra. So let's go buy some bread and then we'll go to the Crystalabra to give Radea her flan. Still working hard, I see. Hello, Yuki. I would like some recipe bread. 
Let's get quite a bit of weapon bread this time. I feel like we haven't really learned any new weapon recipes in a while. So we'll see what we learn from these. My parents were bakers. Randolph and I took over the bakery when they retired. But I have to wonder what'll happen to it once we're gone. Hmm. Randolph has worked so hard to make this bakery prosper. I hope we can find someone to inherit it. I hope so too. Uh, here. Have a potion. You too, Priscilla. How are you doing today? There's supposed to be a star shower tonight. Yeah. When I can't sleep, I make myself a nice mug of hot chocolate. It warms me up and helps me to relax. After drinking that, it's easy to fall asleep. Does that mean you like hot chocolate? Hmm. Let's see here. Sonic daggers. Defender, Trinity Edge, Bloodline Axe, Back Scratcher, Heavy Lance, Mage's Stuff. Diamond Rod Dancing Dicer Wind Sword Oh, hey Randolph We've had this bread conversation before. I prefer light and fluffy bread. And, um, would you like a baked onigiri? Oh. Oh, he didn't like it. Hmm. Too bad. Well. Let's go see Radea. She should still be at the Crystal Abra, right? Ah, there she is. Hello, Radea. For all the times we butted heads in the past, I'm glad we met. Thanks to you, I reconnected with my sister. What's more, I think I found a purpose in life. Aww. Here, this is for you. <laughs> Aww. Fascinating, is it not? Lucas? Yeah, we should see shooting stars this evening. That'll be cool. Ah, well met. Do you have need of me? How's your job going these days? many things left to learn, but on the whole, I find the work quite stimulating. 
I feel quite satisfied with my job. That's nice. Okay. Let's go and see about getting our adventuring party together. Just made sure that there wasn't like a continuation to Lucas's heart event on the map. But no, maybe tomorrow. Ah, so we've got Ludmilla, Lucas and Heinz. Well, Lucas, hello again. I would like you to go adventuring with yes. me. Nice. Let's go get um, Ludmilla and then we'll go find um, Heinz. I think Heinz is quite often at the general store during the um, sort of midday. So I bet we'll find him there today as well. I'm so happy I get to see you today. Hello, Ludmilla. <laughs> the flowers are telling me they're happy to see you. Aww. Hey, Ludmilla. What kind of fortune telling can you do? Hmm. Oh, I know several different techniques. Like tracking the stars or divining the future from flower petals. But my favorite method is reading tarot cards. Every time I shuffle up my deck, I wonder if a card will give me a paper cut. That juicy little thrill makes it all the more special. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you, Ludmilla. Alright, now we just need Heinz. So, yep, there he is at the shop with the ladies. Let's go and uh, get Heinz into our party and Talk to Lucy and Ina and Misasagi at the same time while we're here. Hello Lucy. Working hard or hardly working? Oh hey. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but my birthday is autumn 16th. So write that down somewhere, okay? Or better yet, memorize it. Then I'll tell everyone what a good memory you have. Win-win! Alright. Here. And uh, Heinz does not like potions. So we won't give him one. Hello, Misasagi. Ah, we've had this conversation before, haven't we? The story's doing well. I am absolutely delighted. Ina? I had to take a nap today. Being a kid really stinks sometimes, huh? 
Trust me, when you're older, you'll wish you still had nap time. I know I do. Hazel, have you found anything interesting on your walks? Oh, plenty of stuff. Take me with you next time. I want to go on an adventure too. Please? Aww. Heinz? You may think that digging up minerals for a living often puts you between a rock and a hard place, but someday I'll find a diamond in the rough. Oh. I'm sure if anyone could do it, it'd be you. Uh. Did jo the joke go over your head there? You see, you find diamonds in rocks and since it's not exactly easy... Hey, are you even listening to me? <laughs> no, sorry, Heinz. There won't be much pay to look forward to. Um... Okay... Oh, Heinz needs everything. Well, we just got a new axe recipe, didn't we? Let's go see what kind of an axe we can make for Heinz. And then we'll go indoors and make some armor. Actually, let's also take a look at the other new recipes. Hmm. I think I may want to make the platinum sword for myself, actually. Yeah, it's quite a bit better than the best uh, short sword I have at the moment. We just need to upgrade it at some point. Oh, we made a special version, huh? Can't make all dragon stuff, okay? Ice hammer. Yeah, no new hammer recipes. Great axe is actually better than this new bloodline axe. I think we already have uh, this one made. So we can just take it out of our chest, our chest and uh, give it to Heinz. Lucas uses a lance, doesn't he? He's got this lance plus, I think. A heavy lance is um, quite a bit better. So we'll make him this. Nah, can't make the new, new dual blades. We could make the diamond rod and the mage's staff though. Let's make the mage's staff. Oh, well, we'll just heal at the inn. We'll go take a bath. Yeah. Um, everybody come this way a bit, please. And, um, here we go. Um.
Lucas. A new lands for you. This is splendid. And Heinz, wait a minute. I'll just uh, get you a better axe. Oh, and earrings for Ludmilla. And yeah, the axe for Heinz. some fancy new earrings for you. Oh, oh my gosh! What's a girl to do? She really liked them. Nice. And Heinz? Here's an axe for you. Okay. Well, this one lands. Um, I'm just going to put a few things away from my inventory and then we'll go to the inn and take a bath. Yeah, see, this uh, <laughs> um, plant sword that we just grew is terrible. That's so weird. There's got to be some random factor to it. But, um, there. We now have a little more room in our inventory. Let's go and take a bath. Just so that we can then make some armor behind Murakumo. It's after two. You're not still having lunch, are you? Ah, there you are. Hmm. Excuse me? Are you taking a day off? Is the inn closed on Wednesdays? Hmm. Let's take a look at the sign. No, it doesn't say that it's closed on Wednesdays. Hmm. Well, I guess he's just taking a random day off. Well, um, I think there was a rune crystal at Bazaar's hideaway. First floor, like, um, right next to the entrance. So, we'll go and get some RP from here then. Ha! There we go. And let's go back home. 
actually, we can just, um, since we want to go back to our room, we can just do this. And now, let's craft some armor and accessories and stuff. What's the best armor we can make? Chainmail. Okay. Do we want to use the vine or... Uh, we don't really have very many of either of these. Sure, we'll use the vine. And, uh, shield. The best we can make is... Is, um, a round shield. What about an accessory? Magic earrings? It gives resistances, very nice bonus to magic defense and um, a little bit of defense too. What's the accessory that we currently have on people? Like most people. It was the belt, wasn't it? 15 defense, so the earrings give a bit less defense, but uh, they more than make up for it by giving a lot of magic defense and some magic attack and resistances and yeah. Also, oops, I kind of accidentally used a platinum there, didn't mean to. Um, should have changed that to some other ore. Oh well. Alright, Heinz, let's get you all kitted up. Chain mail. And round shield. And Magic earrings. And... Um... Silver hairpin. Oh! Dude! Did you just give us a diamond? Thanks. Yeah, he gave us a diamond. Wow. Okay. Alright, that's Heinz. And Lucas needed a hat an armor and some shoes and then everybody's got everything armor chainmail and um, headgear Silver hairpin. Uh, 
and choose gold boots. Okay. We'll just give these to Lucas and then we'll be all ready to go at the beginning of our next episode. Kind of a tiny bit low on on um, RP though. We may have this to is splendid. pop into some dungeons and see about finding... Oh, you gave us a boiled egg, did you? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we may have to pop into some dungeons this at the start of the next episode and quickly uh, break some rune crystals. Luckily, I do remember a couple of dungeons this is that have rune crystals kind of right at the entrance. So yeah, we'll do that next time and then we'll go into Cloudheim and explore it a little. For now though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.